Again in West Africa, where the economic community of West African states says it would relocate former Sierra Leone President Enes Kuroma to Nigeria. This was contained in a statement signed by the ECOWAS Commission President Omar Toure on Tuesday and made available to journalists on Wednesday. According to Mr. Toure, the relocation was part of the agreement reached by the mission to Freetown on December 23, 2023 at the high level of ECOWAS delegation led by President of the Republic of Ghana, uh, President Nana Akufo Addo, and President of the Republic of Senegal, Makisor. The statement also disclosed that the former president has accepted the offer to be hosted in Nigeria and subject to approval, arrangements will be made to fly former President Koroma out of Freetown today. While the temporary accommodation was arranged as part of an agreement to drop all charges against Mr. Kuroma, whom the Sierra Leone government accused of treason, and four other offenses in a high court on Wednesday, the charges come amid heightened tensions following the attempted coup and a disputed June 2023 election where President Julius Madabio secured a second term. The election's outcome faced rejection by the main opposition candidate and skepticism from international partners. He was released on bail but placed on house arrest at his residence in Freetown while the matter was adjourned to the 17th of January. The government says it was willing to drop all the charges if Mr. Koroma vacated the country tentatively. Joining me now for more on this is TVC's foreign affairs correspondent Moyo Thomas. Uh, Moyo Thomas, we understand that um, the former Sierra Leone president is expected in Nigeria. What are you hearing? about his proposed asylum here. Okay, so uh, at the moment, we all just saw the letter from the ECOWAS Commission uh, requesting for him to be uh, brought to Nigeria for asylum uh, on a temporary basis. Uh, but the letter also indicated uh, um, a confirmation from the government of Sierra Leone if they want that or what the time they would want that to happen. And so far, Sierra Leone government has not responded uh, on when they would actually allow him because uh, just as the report you uh, took earlier said, he is expected back in court on the 17th of January. So uh, at the moment, we're not sure if the Sierra Leone government is actually going to approve his uh, repatriation to Nigeria or not. But we, we also know that uh, from the letter ECHO was sent, uh, Sierra Leone government is not disposed to that letter, and they have used the word, they, are, they, are, they, are not, uh, they, they don't have a countenance, they would not countenance the letter, that's the word they used, and that, uh, that means that they would not actually give it, um, a, they, they are not ready to honor the letter. So we don't know at the moment what is uh, happening, but what I can also confirm to you from a few people that I called in Sierra Leone, some of the journalist colleagues that I called in Sierra Leone, what they're saying is they actually wish uh, that uh, ECOWAS Commission can actually do what it's proposing uh, because they don't want a situation where um, what uh, the government is planning to do will pull through, uh, from, given the fact that a lot of Sierra Leoneans love this man and they know it could cause division in Sierra Leone. And Sierra Leone, at the moment, we all know that they are, they, they are yet to recover from the war they went through between 1991 and 2002. So it is not a good time for Sierra Leone to be going through uh, a situation that could cause an outbreak of political tumult in their country. Yeah, I recall there was a failed coup attempt in November, killing about 20 people, an attack on a prison and military barracks. But ECOWAS is saying this idea to temporarily relocate former President Koroma was based on an agreement reached um, in a mission it had in Freetown last year in November. Uh, but there are, uh, December rather, there are signs, like you mentioned, that the Sierra Leone government did not support this proposal. Um, according to the country's foreign minister, it's a unilateral proposition by the ECOWAS Commission president. Um, is there clarity on how that decision was made? Is it standard protocol that ECOWAS can make that decision independent of the host nation? Um, maybe there is a form of, I, I don't want to uh, preempt what was discussed in the meeting, given that we don't have um, what, uh, a, a, recording, a recording of whatever was discussed. But then I would think that um, 
there would have been a miscommunication in that process, given what ECHO has brought out that uh, this action of bringing uh, former President NS by Koroma to Abuja was out of the discussion they had in November, in December rather, of 2023. And then the government of Sierra Leone, on the other hand, is saying that that is more like a wishful thinking of ECOWAS because they never had a discussion such as that. I, I would think that that is a kind of miscommunication between them and there would be need for the leadership of ECOWAS at this point. Uh, probably the authority which is the highest uh, rank in the ECOWAS authority, uh, uh, hierarchy to wade in and reach a conclusion. Uh, Sierra Leone is a fragile country at the moment and cannot cannot afford to go into any disturbance or political crisis. It sounds like um, the former president isn't expected to touch down in Nigeria as proposed in this ECOWAS letter. Uh, but what's the preparation back here? Uh, do you, has the federal government made any uh, statement as to expecting to receive them? As at this moment, there is no statement. I also, before we came on air, I also tried to make some inquiries onto the situation, into the situation to know what was happening from the ECOWAS end. But then I didn't get any successful information, that any good information that I can actually share at this time. But definitely, it's a developing story, and we'll definitely keep tab on it and see uh, what is happening from the ECOWAS end, because the plan is to move him today, today, if the uh, government of Sierra Leone agrees. But then from what we are also seeing from the government of Sierra Leone, it's not likely that they are agreeing to his movement. So at the moment, we don't know what is happening as per that, but then we're keeping tab on the developing story. Well, former President Koroma has been under house arrest since being questioned over the coup, the failed coup attempt last year, though he's denied any involvement in that particular attack uh, in Sierra Leone that killed about 20 people. Uh, we'll get back to you, Moyo, when you have more updates. Moyo Thomas, uh, Foreign Affairs correspondent live for us in Abuja.